the fourth week of Advent. This is Stever. And this is Father Barry. We have our three candles lit. We're ready for the fourth. That's exciting because it means we're in the fourth week of Advent. It leads into Christmas before we get to the next Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord of gladness be with all of you. And with your spirit. A reading from the epistle of Jude. But you, beloved, build yourselves up in the most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God and wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. Praise to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past now and for ages to come. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Now we come to our lighting of the fourth candle and its prayer. Dear God, our minds and hearts are filled with hope. We long to hear the voice which tells us of the coming of the Christ child. Amen. So we have now our four candles lit. We're expecting Christmas now. Our Advent hope is nearly realized. Now you will go to your class and its Advent page. And we thank you for being here for our prayer. Thank you. The fourth week of Advent. This is Mrs. Stever. Hi, and it's Father Barry again. Our faith focus in your book, page 245. How do we prepare for Jesus? Well, that's a good one. That's a good thing to be thinking about in this fourth week of Advent. I know one thing our family would do is put out the manger set. And one thing that wasn't there was the baby Jesus. We waited until Christmas Eve or Christmas Day to put the baby Jesus in. That was one way we prepared. And I know that in the original Christmas, there was a lot of preparing going on. And so that's what it says. All is ready. You see the picture there, Mary and Elizabeth? Yes. That's yeah. a picture of before the baby is born. See, they're greeting each other, waiting. It's getting close, though. Let's read it together. We know how to get ready to celebrate a birthday. We may decorate the house. We may bake a cake. We may wrap gifts. We may even plan a favorite meal. During the last days of Advent, we prepare our hearts to welcome Jesus. The church invites us to read the stories of the family of Jesus. We read about the angel Gabriel, who announced the news of Jesus' birth to Mary. The angel said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. We also read about Mary's visit with Elizabeth. Elizabeth said to Mary, Most blessed are you among women. We read that an angel helped Joseph to understand that Mary's child would save all people from their sins. The angel asked Joseph to take care of Mary. Joseph said yes, and he took Mary into his home. Let's turn the page and do the activity, We Are Ready. And it has a couple readers, so you can do this with your family this week. And it also has a part where you all are going to respond in the readings and in this prayer. Well, I hope you are ready, and 
you can pray that prayer anytime you want. And we'll do the closing song. And you've done it for a few weeks already, so you probably know what to do now. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Abide in hearts of God's people. Amen. Amen. We Happy await Ad with hope. Yes. Happy Advent.